What's up guys, Abraham here, lead instructor at Hal Coles Wooden Academy, and today I'm going to talk to you about taking a root pass. Alright guys, so the subject I'm going to be touching base on today is how much rod do I feed while taking a root pass. So right here we got a 16 schedule 40 pipe root started already with a penetrating tack. The so first, thing, first thing you want to do whenever you're uh, taking a root pass is you want to make sure that you keep your rod behind the bevel. And it doesn't matter if it's all of the rod, a little bit of the rod, as long as you have the tip of the rod behind the bevel, it's going to penetrate. Another thing you want to make sure is that you keep your torch perpendicular to the pipe, like this. You can get away with it being a little slanted, but the best way to do it is keeping it perpendicular with it. With it. And this goes for 5G and 6G. Now, back to our question. How much rod do I feed while taking a root pass? Now, the answer to that is just enough to keep, it, to keep the rod connected to the puddle. So, what's hap so what happens while you're taking a root pass and you're moving from point A to point B, spreading the puddle from wall to wall, the puddle right here, it pretty much absorbs the rod. So if, as it is absorbing it, if you don't push the rod into the puddle, it disconnects, it'll disconnect. One way you can look at it also, what happens, what happens while you're taking a root pass and pay attention to is from the tip of the rod from the tip of the rod to the puddle sometimes if you have the rod far in, just far enough you can see liquefied metal stretch and it'll form a bridge and the goal is to keep that bridge connected as you spread your puddle from wall to wall another thing that you want to pay attention to is you want to keep your tungsten behind the tip of the rod right on the puddle a uh, common mistake many people do is they'll get ahead of themselves and they'll start pointing your, the tungsten right at the tip of the rod and all that does, all, that, all you're doing right there is you're shooting the arc straight at the tip and that the tip is just going to bubble and you're going to create a pretty much just, it's just going to drip. That's when, that's when it drips. That's very important. Remember, tungsten back here, the rod a little bit in front of it, right here like this. You never, you never weld with your tungsten perpendicular to your rod, like this, never. That's, you, that's not how you take a root pass. What you wanna do is you wanna keep your tungsten behind the rod like that as you take it, like, put it like that. So transition it to this. I'm not, I'm not pointing my tungsten straight at the tip. No, I like this. I'm, be, I'm pointing it over here and my rod stays right here. All right guys, let's take. Alright guys, right here you got the rod connected to the puddle. You got your puddle right here, and you got your rod right here. And from the tip of the rod to the puddle is where that where that uh, liquefied metal bridge is right here that I was talking about earlier in the video. Right here. So the whole point as you go from point A to B is to keep this bridge connected at all times. And that's how much rod to feed. Alright guys, I hope that helped y'all out. Like and subscribe. See y'all next time.